You rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> So they already know that I'm dropping the tea. Wanted the tour. Here you go. So let's get right into it. In a nutshell, Omarion basically is defending himself and explained why he no longer chose to do the Millennium Tour with B2K. Everybody got something to say, but now it's my turn. He took to his gram and posted a clip that shows a glimpse into some of the chaos behind the scenes with the other B2K members. From Raz B wilding out in production, to Book being the one who allegedly was effing with his head. Raz B, don't feel safe. He almost hit the promoter. I wasn't really picking up that Book was fucking with his head like that. Man, you never fucking run. And down to the whole Fizz and April thing that he feels completely betrayed their brotherhood. Yeah, two kids. Oh. I never thought. <laughs> and it even looks like he was going at it with Pleasure P. Try me last night, nigga. Try me again, bro. I swear to God. Stop wasting everybody's fucking time. You feel me, nigga? Basically saying that when it stopped being fun, he can no longer put himself through the backstage drama. Because he needs peace. Don't we all? And it's captioned, Hey world, for too long I felt misunderstood and manipulated by the games people play, especially when accountability from others has been obsolete. I own my parts in the story, but do you? Respect is what I give to everyone and it's what I deserve in return. Being unbothered doesn't mean that you ignore your emotions or how you feel. Being unbothered means you don't give someone else your power and you decide how to respond instead of reacting. Reacting to everything is a disadvantage because it's thoughtless and doesn't serve you. Standing up for yourself during challenging times is essential to staying censored and maintaining your peace. Omega, which stands for the last, adding the gift and the curse serves as insight into the incredible journey of ups and downs. Stay tapped in and witness how deep it goes. Premiering July 21. Link in bio. Okay, let's go look at the link in bio. Okay, so it's basically a countdown for 14 days, which leads to the premiere, which is on the 21st of July. And it says, Omega, the gift and the curse is the five-part docuseries from Omarion that goes beyond the veil of what it's like to live under the celebrity microscope and gives fans an exclusive look on what it's like to succeed, transition, rebuild, and evolve into your own man. The docu takes fans behind the scenes with exclusive, never before seen interviews, rehearsals, tour footage, and performances across the US from one of the biggest reunion tours in history. As a chronological driver, we will experience an in-depth look at Omarion's evolution in the industry from child prodigy to teen heartthrob to now being the master of his own destiny and continuing his legacy as a multi-hyphenate. As the quintessential black boy band of our time, B2K announced after 15 years they would reunite for a limited engagement tour beginning March 2019. The Millennium Tour set off a firestorm of excitement and sold out shows across the country. This monumental tour broke records and garnered two Billboard Music Award nominations for Top R&B Tour. However, behind the bright lights and excited fans was a show hanging on by a string with the group in a constant state of chaos. This is what happens, y'all wanted the tour. Here you go. This docuseries will provide an exclusive inside look at what really happened behind the scenes during a highly anticipated Millennium Tour shared from Omarion's unique perspective. We will witness the brotherhood and betrayal. Many questions will be answered from his turbulent relationship with the mother of his children to his thoughts about her relationship with his bandmate. We will also witness the covert sabotage orchestrated for one bandmate towards another as well as the toxic family influences that further contributed to the downfall of B2K. Omarion gives access into his private life and solo career. Take a ride with Omarion through this tumultuous story and witness history as it is very likely that this tour was the last time B2K Okay, would ever be on stage together again yikes now what it looks like to me is that this wasn't going to ever be a thing this whole docuseries but in light of the recent verses that started up chaos again I needed it. 2k i needed them that was half of your set well it's all my vocals it's all me he since decided to go back to old footage and put it together and that way people can see it from his view why b2k can't be on tour anymore 
basically he got some receipts. Four guys who had no intention of touring together. Moment that it stopped being fun, mouth. Mm. Now, whether it's really the case or not, from Omarion's point of view, his three groupmates are always hating on him. So my question is, if y'all had a job, right, and they paired you with a set of people that together y'all brought in some awesome pay, but the work environment was too toxic amongst y'all, would you stay to make the customers happy or would you let it go for peace of mind? Good question, right? I'm walking as myself and proud. We want to know your thoughts overall, so leave them below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com signing out.